Hello, it's Peter Wright and Kathleen Bovey with another episode of The Week That Was, what's been happening on the Yaki Show and in the world this week. And it's an unusual week because it's a week ending on the 29th of February, 2024, a once in four year uh, time that we see the 29th of February. So good luck to all of those of you who have birthdays on the 29th. You've got to wait another four years for your birthday. <laughs> so how are you doing today, Kathleen? Yeah, happy leap day. Yes, I'm doing great, Peter. The sun is shining finally, so all's good. Oh. Yeah, we got to tell our Southern Hemisphere audience, though, what happened yesterday. It was thir plus 13 degrees in the morning when I was w walking at six o'clock or whatever. And by midday, it was down to plus one and it got down to minus seven centigrade by late afternoon with snow, heavy wind. What a change in the weather, wasn't it? And uh, let's not forget with the wind chill factor, it feels more like minus 17 right now. So correct. Correct. <laughs> ah, so shall we start off with your cat tip of the day? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. So for those of you who are feline fans, here's today's little tidbit. The Aegean cat hails from the Cycladic Islands, where cats were brought during the Bronze Age and only partially domesticated, resulting in a good breed health. They are known for their affinity for water and fishing. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Yes, fishing cats, right. <laughs> okay, so what happened on the Yakni Show this week? Well, on Tuesday, we released an episode, and our guest was Douglas Mulhall. He's a journalist, an author, award-winning documentary filmmaker, and he co-founded Elastrin Therapeutics, uh, dedicated reverse, reversing cardiovascular damage. Uh, Douglas has, has spent a lot of time researching elastin, which is a component of our body that uh, works in conjunction with collagen to keep us flexible and uh, it helps our skin. It's always been thought that uh, you can't repair the loss of elastin, but Douglas and his technologies have discovered there is a way to replace some of it and reverse some of the damage of aging. So it's a really good article, a really good episode, and uh, very interesting, and you need to look at that one. So that was Tuesday. Then on Thursday, we released the second part of a premium episode with Jim Marshall, who is studies this, he's developed the science of septemics, the study of human phenomena, and he has scales of behavior. And if you go through these scales, you will understand why we, all of us, behave the way we do in certain situations. So it's very interesting. Uh, Jim also very kindly gave us a long article explaining more about it, which is on our blog and linked to the episode. So I'd encourage you, if you're interested in why we do what we do and why other people are so stupid and behave the way they do, then read this and you might learn something. <laughs> Right. <laughs> well, Kathleen, I didn't give you a chance to comment on either of those two. No, Do you no, want to go add ahead. To no, this? no, no, absolutely. You're right. <laughs> so what's happening next week? Next week, our first uh, guest on Tuesday will be Susan Morrow-Johnson. And let me get her details here. Uh, Susan is a self-help speaker, a trainer, author, and psychic medium. So if you're searching for your purpose in life and what you should do next, you won't want to miss this episode. Uh, we had a, a very interesting uh, conversation with Susan, ranging on all sorts of things, and I pushed a button or two, and she responded very well on feminism, I think it was, and Kathleen was looking at, a bit worried when I was getting onto that subject, but it all went very well, and she was very constructive, and I thought it was a very good episode. So that's coming up on Tuesday. Uh, Kathleen, help me out. Was I really bad on that one, or not too bad? No, you weren't bad, Peter. You weren't bad. We just kind of, we, we just kind of went on a bit of a tangent there, but she answered it beautifully and brought us back on track yeah she was very good mm -hmm. and then we have another lady guest on thursday we're releasing another premium episode and this one will be with samantha stone who is a marketing expert and interestingly is one of the collaborative authors of the most amazing marketing book ever that we we interviewed i think we had three episodes last year of the the authors of that book uh, for, was 41 uh, 41 authors put that book mm -hmm. together it's a very good book by the way yeah. so next week thursday samantha stone and that's it uh, from my side let's get on to kathleen for the health side off you go well peter today i, I just want to bring up something about um and many of you out there probably maybe 
prescribed medication prophylactically. So uh, in, in this particular case, I want to talk about um, statin drugs. So drugs to help lower your cholesterol. So it says here, asympt asymptomatic people. So people that have absolutely are perfectly fine are not displaying any symptoms whatsoever are being prescribed statin drugs um, and may assume that they have nothing to lose by taking a preventative medication. So you're thinking, well, I'll just take this just in case. Well, you may want to think again. Um, it says here, you know, however, despite their near ubiquitous use among those meeting their health department's criteria, statin manufacturers and even the FDA have been beset by statin related lawsuits due to the serious adverse effects that thousands of statin users have experienced. And it goes on to say that over 25,000 people have filed a class action lawsuit against the FDA. And they are accusing the agency of not proper, properly evaluating the health risks associated with these drugs. Um, and it goes on to say that um, some of these people have experienced directly or indirectly adverse effects, including cardiac arrest, rashes, cognitive impairment, gastrointestinal mm -hmm. complications, paralysis, and a lot more. So AstraZeneca agreed to pay $110 million to resolve a Texas whistleblower lawsuit about uh, false and misleading marketing of Crestor. And this was back in 2018. And the suits for product liability include claims that Crestor caused diabetes, liver damage, um, rhabdomyl, I don't think I can pronounce this correctly, but it's a basically a serious muscle injury that can cause damage to the kidneys. Mm. So I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm not saying you should. It's something for you to think about and to question. That's why I bring it up. Peter? Wow, well, well done. And that concerned me because I was put onto a generic statin after my heart attack uh, 13 years ago right. and was, ta was taking it and taking it, and I developed fairly serious uh, gastrointestinal problems. I can't, I don't know that it was related to statin. I can't say that. I'm not making that claim in the slightest. But I've always had an aversion to taking prescription drugs on a long-term basis because I believe our bodies should be able to, once the initial problem solved with drugs, we should be able to, our bodies should look after themselves. So I took the decision on my own to stop them a few months ago. Mm. And I've seen a fairly substantial improvement in my gastrointestinal problem. I generally feel better. Again, I can't say it's solely because of not taking statins, but it's an indicator and I'm quite happy with the way my body seems to be reacting without them. So that's just my personal experience. Right. Uh, but as Kathleen says, you have to make that decision yourself. Absolutely. Don't, don't take, don't take our word for it. Nope. The, the, the health one I picked up, which I found very interesting today was it was a follow-up article from last week's, the one we mentioned last week by mm -hmm. Adam Lee Khan. And mm -hmm. we'll put a link in the newsletter and in the description of this uh, About episode. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's, and he mm -hmm. says, uh, where is it? The, this doctor that we quoted last week, Dr. Bredesen, has discovered at least 37 pathways to the Alzheimer's response. Um, th through testing, the pathways affected a particular person, affecting a particular person are discovered and then remedied. So it's a really good article on uh, possible ways of reversing the severity or the effects of Alzheimer's and dementia. Mm -hmm. We'll put a link in there. I'm not, it's a long article. I won't go through the whole thing, but it, it's, uh, it gives hope to those people who are start, starting to show symptoms or concerned about symptoms that sometimes it may be reversible to a greater or lesser degree. So that was that was the one from from me. And then my final message is we, we're having a lot of really good guests. We're running two episodes a week at the moment, or will be for the next few weeks. We've got some really good guests coming up. We had a, a very interesting interview with a doctor from from Florida this week, who is a sexologist. So yes, that might wet that, that might you don't want to miss that. That'll whet your appetite and uh, <laughs> get your get your gears turning. That'll be coming up in a couple of weeks' time. So if you don't want to miss out on these interesting episodes, hop onto the website, theyakishow.com and sign up for our newsletter. And we only sent and Carry on. Peter, sorry, Peter, but I just want to mention once again that our interview with Dr. Morse um, that, yes. is being, um, that is on his website, on his uh, 
Dr. Morse TV channel on the internet has now is well over 17,000 views, our interview with him. So That's thank right. you for That's watching. Right. And and on our own website and our own YouTube channel and Podbean audio channel, his episode is uh, one of our better, most viewed ones. And it's, you know, it won't be long. He'll be catching up all, all, all world-famous Flat Earth discussion from three years ago. Do you remember <laughs> that one when we, when we first started out? It was, it was interesting. interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So hop onto the newsletter and sign up. Yeah, hop onto the website, sign up for the newsletter. Uh, we only send you one email a week and you'll then know who's on this week, who's coming next week, and anything else that is interesting. That's it from me. Back to you, Kathleen. Well, thank you all for tuning in. And if anyone is interested in being a guest on our show, please visit us at theyackingshow.com, where you will find an application form under the at contacts tab. And we'd love to hear from you. So until next week, take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.